Grandpa made it. Oh, bro, Nini Kasei. She ain't true, I ain't just seeing kind. Welcome to the wild side with Will Don. Stay tuned. Mumetia Saka, Sammy Koya, my son of Bessu. Was it Chemi Tistri, Sammy Kasahali, or Moba? Who are town of Capi, who really run this Kumerica? Sakana, the Emojam boys are just a story, a sack. Revolution made it. Televised. Only any of our advice. You see how quickly time flies. When you know you'll be zero well, eyes. Now move, move. Sorting niggas and a boom. Mukuli as you who. You push your money, what do you mean? Dabro, Dabro. Big in Mitala, Big in Mitala. Boys are kissing my feet and a pants. Say, I'm going to have a Dabro, Dabro. Super my mic, Dabro, the mic. Puss the moon, I'm not just super moon. You're not in the sun. Dabro, who said, Tia, we are in here. Dabro, Kelly said, Tia, oh, Minia. Dabro, she could say, Tia, Dabro, and it's here. Dabro, when your brother, bro, when you mean. Welcome guys to episode 5 of The Wild Side with World On. This week's episode is very, very special to me. And I have some very, very special guests who are going to help me talk about this. So you've been on social media. You've probably heard or seen about the Kumerica movement. Is it what you think it is? So to help me dissect what Kumerica is, I have with me Bra Bank and C Mob. So you are definitely going to remember Bra Bank from the first episode we had on The Wild Side, which was being an independent artist in Ghana. And if you recall, we talked a little bit about the Kumerica movement, but we didn't really delve into it. But today is the day we lay everything on the table, talk about everything the movement stands for and its purpose. So, Ben, Charlie, what's up? I did cool, bro. Yeah. I hope you could too. Everything, everything nice. Yeah, so I think it was just about a month ago that we had the episode concerning being an independent artist in Ghana. And when you were talking about Kumerica, you expressed your plans or let me say it was a little bit of the plans you had for Comerica and how you wanted people to see and accept the movement and it was it, it wasn't even up to a month one day i woke up i took my phone went to twitter i saw Comerica trending when you saw it what was your reaction um uh it was it was really something that made us really feel like people were uh, actually getting to hear and understand us now because like we were sort of anticipating we'll get something like that mm-hmm. we get it so we sort of started like uh, a kumerica hashtag thing and then we, we were posting pictures you know of you know kumasi people and how we wanted to bring some type of fashion back so you know we we're sharing these pictures and then and you know and a song came a song came out akata four from reggie kawabanga or kennedy but and mm-hmm. you know yg the song was a catapult, so it came perfectly to meet, uh, to 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 uh, uh, sorry meet what we were trying to you know spread. So everything mm. caught fire, and then you know it, it was everywhere. Off. And that song received cool signs from let me say almost every top artist in Ghana, top influencers. Everybody was tweeting about it. They wanted to know who are these new guys. Like everybody fell in love with the craze. So yeah, it was, it's it's refreshing, you know, yeah. like we don't hear things like that on a regular you get it and you don't you don't see that type of energy in a minute so when you see that and you know they are talking about things that people in Kumasi relate to mm. you know it has some sort of spirit aside you know the energy they, they inside okay so apart from Akata 4 and how the Kumerica movement started trending on Twitter one way I know a lot of people got to hear of the word Kumerica was a video by a couple of guys i know i think they, they are referred to as the kumasi migos yeah yeah and they saw a video of them and they mentioned kumerica that's how also some people yeah. got to hear of the word but okay. I, I would want you to explain what is kumerica to somebody who doesn't really know the purpose who doesn't really know what it stands for what is kumerica okay kumerica is just a, a bunch of artists like we are a bunch of creatives who are trying to like uh, uh shine light on a lifestyle in Kumasi that hasn't been documented or hasn't been like looked at mm. by our creatives in a, in a long time you get it so that was that is like the main purpose so when we had the jenna or the sound we were going to use which is asaka mm-hmm. and you know the energy with uh, uh, black foreigner and amani sosa was you know very perfect for everything we wanted to do so it just everything just came into place at 
a perfect you know time and you know mm. things carried on from there so if you would recall from the first interview i think bank mentioned black foreigner and sosa oji right yeah amani amani, amani, sosa. amani sosa as the founders or originators of the term kumerica if you've, you've described what kumerica is are we looking at a movement that is like it has an open membership or a sort of a strictly by invite or a strictly members thing only what is it about or is it like everybody who is from kumase can say oh we are part of kumerica how does it work okay so you know the ulterior motive behind the whole Kumerica and Asaka movement was to get our give our people a voice. You get it. Yeah. So right now the people are sort of having the voice now. They have the voice now. And then the only difference is maybe the plans that we had for the things uh you know were systematic and you know things might have come a little bit too early and you know like it's like say your 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 dad your your father buys you a car and you are excited to drive when you don't even know how to drive because mm. you are talking about nine you want to drive you forget you don't even know how to drive so the thing came i think most of the people in Kumasi related to the things we were talking about and what we wanted to preach into they caught on it and like mm. everybody felt like they were part of it because it was something that represented them which was or has been the ulterior motive like to give the people something they really relate to you get what i'm saying yeah. but you know i think uh, people are over excited and like we are happy to see them over excited and we are just trying to allow everybody to express themselves and you know be what they want to be with this uh, uh hype that we have sort of created but you know mm. the work or the mission we have is still ongoing and we are still you know championing the asaka sound yeah. We are still championing, you know, a lot of creative things that are going to like put the image or you know the perception of our city, you know, mm. uh, back or even you know uh, where it has to be and how it has to be seen. Okay, so this, since the Comerica hype or let me say the Comerica trend started, there's one thing that has been widely associated with it, which is the renaming of some popular Kumasi cities with names of American cities. So does that part of the movement really reflects what the core members of the group want uh not really like the, like what i'm saying like it was something we were doing for uh, uh the people of kumasi so some the people of kumasi are adding a lot of things that wasn't part of what we wanted to do yeah. or even if they were part they were they were going to come at some point where we'd know it would be like you know like it would have a purpose you get what i'm saying yeah so right now the people caught on to it and everybody's happy that's how i see it everybody's so excited and yeah. they want to explain that because every every single day i wake up to a new thing i've seen several versions yeah. of the comerica flag you see the original one yeah. that came out was the 50 stars with the green and the black stripes but yeah. right now there's a version with a, a porcupine signifying the yeah, I mean, ashanti kingdom I mean, stuff like that so you know like as we are trying to create avenue for creatives people are obviously going to uh try their hands out on what they think they should be you get to like what they think things should be mm. and then because we are not trying to lay ownership or claim ownership to something this magnificent we are just maybe we are not probably going to be with what others are coming now with we are going to stick with our own because we too we believe what we created mm. which is the original yeah. and then you know like these other people to have the right to be creative and do everything mm. just that uh they should know that you know uh, it came from somewhere and then those people or those people that started it had a plan for it and then you know as much as they can do whatever they want to do they still have to uh, sort of uh, respect or appreciate what the people who started it meant it for to mm. okay so how has the journey been so far for you apart from the whole trend how has it been for you in terms of championing the asaka sound asaka sound is receiving a lot of you know positive energy and what is important to us mostly is the energy from the streets like people really believe in our song to the extent that they talk back our lyrics to us like our lyrics to us and like with some sort of um uh belief and passion that you know we have really said things that they really relate to 
You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And yeah. That is what we are. We have been trying to do to have that core fan base to get the people, the core people in Kumasi to like get something that really they really relate to. So that they are, you know, they will feel proud when they are, you know, listening to the songs or sharing them with their people. So that energy is really getting big and trust me a lot of a lot of offers are on the table a lot of interviews a lot of things but mm. we are choosing to relax a little bit on all these things because it's we are not we are not for the hype you get it i get you. The, the hype was just part of the things we are trying we are trying to do so we can't be led by the hype to you know do everything right now and then just because people want to hear you get it we still have a plan mm. and, and the hype was part of the plan you get it so if the hype is on now if the hype is on now mm. we are allowing it to you know be and do whatever it can do now and we are also planning and you know working with people behind the scenes to come out with quality sounds you know more asaka song, more, more asaka music and mm. more life more you know entertaining things and really creative things Okay, so as young as the movement is, there are already some people who disagree with the whole concept. I don't know if I can't speak for them, if maybe they don't really understand what it is or they are looking at it from an angle of somebody who is not an inside person or doesn't really know what's going on. Let me say two of those people. The first is Andy Dusty, who tweeted that, ah, what's all this Kumerica nonsense about? And the second was Ken of Akara, the producer. He was not really happy with how the whole thing is playing out. What response do you have to that kind of criticism? First, when we started this, we weren't even aiming for media and you know, radio and everything because we wanted mm. to, we wanted to get to the people. You get it. So we have anticipated such backlash from the very onset because we know people are not going to be comfortable with the way we, you know, we do things because it is raw and it is real. Mm. you get it it's not branded so people are not going to feel comfortable because you know how it is but Mm. you know don't you think they disagree because it's like they are basing their knowledge of kumerica on let's say the videos they've seen of triple 4k and the squad and other young young guys just flashing around stacks of money and stuff like don't you think maybe that's the reason why they don't agree with kumerica well i think as reputable as they are if they would want if they hear about the topic and they want to know anything more about it they can easily get access to information like that so mm. if they are basing uh, a whole you know they are basing their, their their judgment of a whole movement based on just the video they have seen mm. then i think it's not professional enough but i'm not you know i i, I don't really have a problem with them not understanding it because at the end of the day it can't be perfect at the end of the day you can't do something and expect everybody to like it you get it so yeah we anticipated this from the beginning so uh, mm. eventually when they come to understand it and they like it fine if they don't like it you know it's still good. Mm. so you dropped the video to your song dabro i think that was last yeah. friday yeah last friday how has the response been so far it's been nice i mean for i don't know for a video i've been i've been i haven't had a single dislike ever since the video came out and i think it's nice for so much people to watch a video and like no one person to dislike it and you know the comments coming mm. and people telling us how proud they are to be from kumasi or to be from you know americans and everything mm. it's what we why we did this thing from the very like the very first yes um i i had a question on that you see um yeah, uh, okay. kumasi has been the center of radical for a while for various ridiculous things that people put on uh, kumasi but i think mm, yeah. when this movement this whole kumerica movement came out it's like you can see the kumasi people on social media have something to really be proud of to say yo we are we are from kumase i've seen people making some visas some passports there's been a video of an airline a branded kumerica airline yeah yeah i think people are people yeah, I mean, really they, have something to look up to yeah, to be proud goes, of yeah this all goes to show the excitement people are getting you know the music brought all these things but because you see the reason why the uh, the Migos guys were talking about were trending were because 
there was an akata for song popping and these mm. kids were portraying that lifestyle that we were talking in about in the songs yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. so it's like everything the 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 the, 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 the song has been a team song to our whole movement because mm. Omega is basically a kata for boys we are all boys who are into a specific lifestyle we look at things different you get what i'm saying yeah. that was how this whole thing started so it becoming big and like everybody feeling proud to be I'm not, even a moment you know mm. a deep hour, you know, sometimes you have to just relax and let it be because uh nyame enim dey dey say all dey before be so man but you get yeah, true so, uh, a black woman started i met them and then i i i, I saw it to uh reggie and okenet's song or me uh, uh ep mm-hmm. which is called um straight out of comerica that was when i first saw the name i fell in love with it i asked them they told me about black foreign and i wanted to do that mm. i just started putting things together with it because i felt like yo this matches the asaka and everything we wanted to do you know what i'm saying yeah so, the excitement is there but we won't uh we are not we are not carried away by all these things because we know that what got the people's attention was the sound and mm. the sound isn't everywhere in ghana yet and that is where we want you get it so everything 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 will eventually fall in its place and then the song will come back out because the songs that we have are really amazing and the sound is special so mm-hmm. that is what we are focused on right now so so far have you received any interest by a group of people or organizations who are so interested in comerica that maybe they would love to invest in what you guys are doing well uh, not specifically Comerica, but even before this Comerica thing started trending, like mm. we were getting calls from people, we we're getting calls from you know, and most of the love that we have seen has been before this Comerica started trending. Let me say that again, mm. has been from artists from Accra. You get it? Like we have most of these A-list, blah blah in Accra, DMing our boys, you know, talking to them, you know, trying to let, let them know that they fuck with their vibe and everything. Mm. You get it? So. Yeah it has been there and then it has been something that has come to stay because you know we came and made a statement and the statement is something that is mm. original and it's refreshing so you know okay so i've seen it. some merchandise for sale branded comerica i've seen some uh cufflinks i've seen t-shirts are they are any of them official comerica stuff no none of them are official comerica stuff every all these things i'm saying are like uh, uh how should i put it like excitement mm. you get to, people are really excited about everything and everybody's trying to get a piece of the cake and everything you get it mm. so that means think, you guys are not offended by the the shirts people are selling and making money out of comerica stuff like that you people it doesn't really get I mean, to you people i mean no i mean i mean no we can't be offended because our purpose was to do these things for our people mm. you get it like we we're eventually going to try and you know help the people with these things you get it so if they want to do a t-shirt with a flag or whatever they have they want to do with it mm. i mean they should do it but eventually official ones will come and the people who accepted those ones based because they, people are buying it because they really fuck with the whole movement yeah. right so if the movement now has something that they are selling i think everybody would want to get some and be official with it you get it. yeah okay so right now what are the plans for the future what what is the purpose what does america want to achieve um right now what we sought out to achieve has uh really been I don't know uh expanded so right now the things that we were we, we, you see we talked when we talked before we talked about uh festivals we talked about like you know uh carnivals and yeah you know, fashion shows that, yeah uh, uh show move uh what documentaries mm. short films and everything about these things and then these things are all still in play but then right now that people we see a lot of people are looking at us everything that comes from us should be uh not i won't say perfect but should be official or like you know should be something that we all agree on mm-hmm. yeah, make yeah. it should be something yeah. that 
we are satisfied with. Mm. So we should be looking forward to a Kumer- uh, maybe a week long Kumerica festival. We are going to have maybe sports oh, yeah, shows, definitely, definitely. and we are going to crown it off with a big music festival, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, if if not by us, people are working day in day out to you know get these things done. We are just trying to work more harder for people to know that we we may we may have brought this thing and we are really living out what we started you get what i'm saying like, yeah we are, we are, we are, and the song we did we brought up there, and we brought up there, that made them like like our vibe we have to bring more of those songs so that you know people can know that we didn't come to play mm. so any last words or any message for the people out there who love comerica yeah i mean we are happy to have started something that got the whole city happy and proud of us and you know proud to even be part of we are just hoping that you trust us enough to let us you know continue what we started or you know help us help the industry and you know like things that has been happening here for a while i mean we are all trying to make the city proud Mm. So big ups to them, big ups to everyone supporting and, you know, big ups to everyone taking part, you know, making teachers, whatever. Mm. We are grateful and we are going to be doing more things by God's grace. So joining me is Simob. He is, I would say, one of the pioneering producers of the whole Comerica sound. So Mob, what's up? I'm good, big bro. It's good. Charlie, everything cool. So to the people listening who don't know who Simob is, can you tell them a bit about yourself? Okay, Simob, you know, is a hip-hop, trap, music producer, an artist as well. Um, from Comerica, yeah, I'll say that. Mm. The new movement. <laughs> mm-hmm. From the new movement, Comerica. Yeah. So, um, I would say you were a witness to how the whole Comerica thing came about. So, yeah. from your perspective, yeah. how did it start? Um, actually started like these two guys called Susa and Amani Foreigner. Mm. And I think they started this thing with the lifestyle, you know. You know, Kumasi is all about the lifestyle. And these two guys, you know, took this thing personal. Mm. So, the whole movement actually started from them, you know. But mm. now, you know, it's global. You know, you can't just kill me like that. So, you're all right on it. Yeah. So specifically, yeah. why the drill sound? The drill sound, then, when you put uh, the asaka, what we we, we we actually name it to be the drill, no? Mm-hmm. When you put it on a drill beat, it sounds like very mad, like it do sound in Ankasa, no? Any originality sound in it, so mm. But a more originality sound, no? And then, yeah, vibe in it, the two beats in the song. Mm. And my as a, a create some unique thing, you understand? Mm. And that uniqueness in a woman and I made the you know as a car. Mm. What I say. So this this whole drill like sound no no I made it as a car now. Okay. So right now the whole Kumerica move is trending. How does it make you feel? Um right now for, right now say it's a mixed feelings, you know, because we've started this thing not now. And as I say now, we be a jail soon. No, I say, yeah, near J and I say, many Sanja at the same time because now some come with Jitum da 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 all the same. After I say, they're not falling to play. So I say, it's a mixed feeling altogether, but I feel great. You know, there are several artists who, let me say, are, are riding on the Comerica trend. Would you say, yeah, yeah, everyone is allowed to say, okay, they are rapping Comerica or strictly members thing oh it's not strictly by members thing but if you do what is called a sacadro mm-hmm. yeah i think you'll be putting it out so what i say but it could be be a yeah comerica 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 but like i didn't say it if you but so if you ride on it cbr comerica fine we are riding on it now but they need name like the elements in it now the bit my pointy hands is oh we, oh, we, 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 as a car, we, 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 we
so when this whole thing took off the when this whole thing became big i've seen um several blogs writing articles maybe from their perspective what they think comerica is about and when they do they 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 list maybe some artists or some songs they think are part of the movement and i've seen them add songs like from let's say kweku flake from dead people who did the otan hunu song seeing but, that how does it make you feel um that, that's what i was saying say or more or more america because american right now america is america so what i say mm. a country on its own into so far as i would say america no drop it will be free america anymore if i say american but yeah they pay a sucker draw no mm-hmm. so they make an answer it's you go out drop it to say uh, tracks are yeah, body mm. fine they are all from american city they are all from this american country no mm. so what i say but or more yeah, different vibe mm. so what, I say. So what the differentiates role, the asaka drill, drill from any other person doing a drill song what what differentiates it uh, the difference is one the language that we speak on it so what I say. Mm. the aggressiveness what we what because this 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 mu- music is a lifestyle so what mm. I say. and shadow yeah they may be say um yeah yeah ch- 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 we would be able to be able to be able to be able to be and it's very different from what other people are mm. doing raw and unfiltered <laughs> so what i say because we you know you have to live the life before you do that music mm. so what i say yeah. you don't live a life in an hour yeah you want to say oh, oh, oh like oh oh right now american and us make us say you see you know she movie so i said you are a american and you're developing a music so fine mm. but as a card draw sound too is there where we have artists or more or more put it as a card draw no, to the map mm. so bloggers and you know almost too far it'd be a different story in the day right now not saying to me for you to me focus on the wrong energies in the soul it's you know never go home as i say because we the raw as a card look americans you know what we are doing so where do you want to see the asaka sound in the next five years uh the next five years for grammys like we want to this thing uh kasadi it would be like we are t- it's, it's a whole different genre that we are bringing up like what reggie brought to ghana what reggie's what is hip hop uh yeah, about ghana and yeah. we'll be open the free soon of being hip life right yeah. so right now we are trying to create a whole genre that Something that's going to last forever. It's a only live life standard. So I said that's going to last forever. Internet mm. for like five years to come in the Nike be who say as a career like uh, the Asaka uh, uh, music of the year, music video of the year, like uh, Ebeko Cup Grammys and all that. Mm. So I said because I'm a set for less. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so, so more. Years, what you know? are your final thoughts? What are your final words for the people out there? I would say, say, my country will be able to be able to support the community and be able to be able to support the massive. I want to support the massive because this thing will not be a small thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Wow. Who is your product? Be able to share. Who is your music? Share. Show the links. Like, you know what I mean? Be able to be online, everywhere. Radio, American, American, with the Sakadros and everywhere. Mm. So, you know, they meet my camp. Then and shout out to everyone supporting the movement. Yeah, you have a song yeah. out, Homies, featuring Scanty. Yeah. yeah. So, if and, people want and, to stream CMOP's music, what do they do? What do they search for? Just CMOP, C M O W B. My platform is the I say unique. So, we say CMOP. Now, yeah, we both CMOP or Google. We be in Spotify accounts, iTunes, everything. YouTube all will come mm. every place. We are just yeah. Simo. So big up Simo, who is one of the producers championing the Asaka sound. The Asaka sound is how this whole Kumerika movement came about. So Charlie, big up yeah. Simo, and we hope to see you big out up, there, big bro. Up. Yeah, thanks, thanks, man, pleasure. Right. Me and my boys, we gangsters, traffic gangsters, niggas with more tattoos. I don't bow with fools. Niggas are trapping the brick and the brick in the roots. Telling my people the truth. Well, in a day, my nigga, the step on my shoes. Be careful, they'll never mistake. You get what it takes. Hey, don't mess with the boost. Feeling like Pablo, boy, near trap. Niggas, I find more, more, I make up. 
Big solo boys, but still know the pop. I call me a guy, see the way at the right. Me I got guys, you be a shame. It's a me body, beat it to me. You call the side, you're the side. Me name me James, so you be a to me. We ball inside, you're the side. Call the side, me name me James, so I got a four, one is it that we ball inside. Call the side, you're the side. Me name me James, so I got a four, one is it that. Pull up and I got a gang gang. Pull up and I got a gang gang. Pull up, got a gang gang. We go pull up and I got a gang gang. Pull up and I got a gang gang. Pull up and I got a gang gang. Pull up, got a gang gang. We go pull up and I got a gang gang.